You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, General Hospital fans, it's time for our weekly prediction edition. We've got Tracy and Cody plotting to destroy Drew, and Jason's decided he's out. So it's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got predictions for Jason and Sam, for Tracy and Cody, for Charlotte Cassidine, for Christina, Sam, and Molly, and also for Cyrus and Sam. And all of our predictions are based on recent promos, recent episodes, as well as official ABC soap opera spoilers. If you're not following us, please reach down, click subscribe. Let's dive right in. Our very first prediction, Jason is out. He is cutting mob ties for good to honor Sam's sacrifice and to be a good dad. So before Sam checked in to GH to do this donor surgery, she met with Drew and Jason over at the queues and she asked them watch the kids which they should already be doing but you know drew is always running around doing other stuff you know jason hasn't always been a good dad to any of his kids because he prioritizes other people generally Sonny and carly and this last time he put himself in the line of fire to get lucky back for lulu he just kind of throws himself under the bus to be self-sacrificing, which if it was just him, that would be his choice. But he has kids that he needs to be thinking about. And maybe he's finally going to start thinking about that. So this past week, of course, Sam McCall died. And those flashback scenes with Jay Sam, I mean, (sighs) that romance they had back in the day, the love song, all of that. And that was obviously Jason reminiscing. And maybe it has finally snapped in his brain. I need to step up. Monday, November 4th, spoilers have Jason showing up teary-eyed and sad at Maxie and Spinelli's place, and he tells Spinelli that it's because of Sam that they even have their friendship. On Tuesday the 5th, Jason has a very emotional talk with Diane. It's a heart-to-heart, and I think he's going to talk to her about needing to cut ties with everything illegal and get on the completely correct side of the law. So there's no chance he's going to go away and not be there for Danny Morgan. Also for, for, you know, his other son who is off in Europe, but very specifically for Danny. Thursday, November 7th, Jason conveys his terms. So maybe those are terms to either quit Corinthus Coffee, cut all ties with the mob, all that, or maybe it's terms to move into the Quartermain Mansion to keep Danny near Scout so the siblings can stay together. Friday, November 8th, spoilers have Jason called into the PCPD. We'll see what that's about. Sam made the ultimate sacrifice, and now Jason needs to step up. He is the only parent Danny has left. He needs to move into the Quartermains, stop being on the wrong side of the law, stop melting down guns, stop aiding and abetting so that Sam's kids can be under the same roof and he needs to stop taking risks with his lives for these other people and prioritize his kids, right? Or else Sam's sacrifice is not going to mean as much if her kids are going to wind up in a bad spot and he needs to honor that. All right, our second prediction, Tracy and Cody plot to destroy Drew. So last week, Cody punched Drew while drunk at the Brown Dog Bar and he made some accusations, some 100% true accusations while the private eye was taping. He said the congressional wannabe was kissing Willow, his nephew's wife, while betting her mom. And we haven't, Michael hasn't seen the video yet, right? Because Drew came clean. So, and don't forget, Drew also boinked Willow's mother-in-law, Michael's mom, Carly, So to me, this sounds like a standard politician sex scandal waiting to blow up in Drew's face. These happen all the time. So it kind of makes him a perfect politician, really. Cody thinks that Drew is entitled, smug, and needs taken down a peg, but Cody accepted a $50,000 payoff. And I think that was more just to punish Drew for being smug and entitled. So what? I don't care that he took the payoff. You shouldn't care either. I, you know, that's just 50 grand less that Drew has to spend doing something stupid. Cody still wants Drew's dirty Nina secret outed and Tracy and Ned know the Nina piece also, and they know that's not 
out yet. And Tracy adores Cody. She actually said that she wanted to give him a raise after she saw the video. And, you know, she's not a fan of Drew. Neither is Ned. Wednesday, November 6th, spoilers have Michael suspicious, probably that there's more going on with Willow and Drew. Friday, November 8th, spoilers have Tracy and Cody strategizing. Maybe it's about Drew. And of course, Ned and Tracy wanted to blackmail Drew into cooperating on the ELQ votes, and that's why he outed himself and Willow. So I think Cody and Tracy will be happy to help Drew achieve that goal and go ahead and out the whole rest of the story. If he wants it out, they can help him put it all out there. Our third prediction, Charlotte Cassidyne returns to Port Charles, but she comes alone. So last week, Anna went to Jack Brennan for help finding Charlotte to correct the mistakes she made letting Valentine creep out of town with Laura Spencer's granddaughter. Anna also has Jason and Spinelli working on it now because she doesn't trust Brennan because he is an ally and close friend of Valentine's. And so clearly he would cover for him. And I have complete faith that Jason and the Jackal will find where Charlotte and Valentine are hiding out. With Lulu's surgery going so well and Dr. Gannon optimistic, there's a little breathing room in the timeline to get Charlotte back to Port Charles. You know, now it's not a race to get her back before she dies. But I, I'm just not sure that Valentine is going to come back with her. And don't get me wrong, I love Valentine. I, I like him with Anna. I adore James Patrick Stewart, but he is wanted by the FBI. Wednesday, November 6th, Anna delivers grave news. And Thursday, the 7th, Anna is skeptical. So is she getting closer to finding him with some of this help she's got? And I just wonder if Valentine lets Charlotte return alone after Lulu wakes up to, you know, at least see her mother spend time with her for a while. But Valentine can't return because of the threat of federal arrest unless his good buddy Jack Brennan can get those pesky federal charges dropped. Our fourth prediction, Christina makes a scene at Sam's funeral and it re-sparks the feud with Molly. Last week, Christina and Molly were at each other's throats at Sam's place. Christina had brought stuff for her sister for when she gets home from the hospital, books and snacks and PJs, all her favorite things. But Molly criticized Christina for not knowing that Sam wouldn't be home for five more days and not reading the information she sent about the kind of stuff she could eat and have and do. And she told Christina that she's no good at follow through. And let's be real, neither sister showed up to General Hospital for Sam. So they're kind of both skeevy on that point, I think. Then Alexis dropped by on Friday and broke the news that their sister had died. Molly immediately started crying, but Christina had one of her little dramatic fit moments and was denying it and just being so extra. And what, Alexis stopped by to say Sam died and then was going to yell Halloween Fool's Day. Just kidding. She's fine. Really? Christina is just always over the top. The rewrite they've done on her character since the recast has just been something. And remember, as little Irina slash Adela's funeral, it seemed to all be about Christina and not so much about the intended parents, <clears throat> which were Molly and TJ. And that ended with that huge, shouty, confrontational scene at the cemetery. And of course, Christina had every right to be sad. She loved that baby that she was carrying for her sister, but it also came out at the cemetery. She wasn't going to hand over the baby like she was supposed to. So I just suspect that Christina might make a similar dust up at Sam's funeral, kind of make it more about herself. And Molly may snap on her and it may reignite the feud just as Alexis had managed to quash the beef. We'll see because these two sisters are like oil and water. Our fifth and final prediction, Sam's autopsy results are suspicious. So Sam came out of surgery fine. No complications that we saw. She was chatty. She was awake. And then bam, cardiac arrest and dead. Portia told the family they're doing an autopsy. She suspected an embolism. The bottom line was it was cardiac arrest, which an embolism can cause. And of course, we have that leak about Cyrus possibly injecting Sam's IV with digitalis. Even with a perfectly healthy heart, yes, that will cause cardiac arrest. People with certain heart conditions take digitalis. And if you remember, Cyrus has a heart problem. 
He had a coronary in prison last year, and Drew saved him. One more reason not to like Drew right now. And, of course, Cyrus also prays with a lot of patients at GH and at other various medical facilities, so he probably has access to medications that could cause a heart attack. So I do think we're going to wind up with a wonky result on Sam's autopsy. So real quick, I do think Cyrus tried to kill Lulu. I think he's the one who turned off the ventilator, who messed with it to kind of release her from this endless coma with low quality of life, you know, give his sister Laura peace of mind by sending Lulu off to heaven. It's plain God, but Cyrus is twisted like that. And he made a remark, a cryptic remark to his brother Martin Gray that day that he was doing something for Laura that no one else would. And that was the same day that she coded and almost died. And, you know, then when Sam turned out to be a match for Lulu and the donor surgery had great results, Cyrus might have decided, okay, I'm not going to kill her. She's got a chance to come back. In his sick mind, he may think killing Sam opens the door for Dante and Lulu to reconcile and put her family back together. You know, it's not a great plot line, I admit, but Kelly Monaco said it didn't make sense the way they wrote it. And a source on the set claims that Sam's exit was storyline driven. And that can't just be about the liver donation because everybody in Port Charles has a liver. Somebody else could have been a match. Wednesday, November 6th, spoilers have Anna delivering serious news and that might be foul play in Sam's death. And that could be why Jason is called down to the PCPD on Friday, November 8th. Maybe Anna wants to tell him in person. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 